Hi everyone, this is Ethan Dre with Be Creative Studios and today what we're going to be learning is how to do a basic face swap. Uh, some of you might be familiar with it as far as Snapchat goes, uh, but this is how we'll do it in Photoshop. And what this is going to help us learn is how to use layer masks to blend different images. It's also going to help us learn how to use adjustment layers to match up brightness and contrast and saturation between different images when we're blending them. So using these two different tools is going to help you blend your images a lot more realistically. All right, so as you can see, we have an example here of the final product. We have George Clooney and Mel Gibson's faces blended together. Um, first two that came to mind, not sure why. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is just go step by step through this and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this face swap. All right, first thing you gotta do is choose two images. When you're choosing two images, you want them typically to be from the same perspective, um, have the people's faces generally pointing in the same direction, and make sure that the lighting's not drastically different, okay? Um, it's it, You're able to have it be kind of different because you can adjust that with your brightness and contrast later on, but it just makes things a lot easier if the lighting's similar, okay? So just things to consider whenever we're blending these images. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just going to select all of one document, all right, from that background layer. We can hit select at the top of our menu of the application in all, or we can just hit command A or control A. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is go to edit copy or command C, all right? Then we're going to pop over to our other document and we're just going to paste that in there going to edit, paste, or command V. All right, so as you can see, we have both of our layers in this document, but our top layer is a lot bigger than our bottom layer. So what we want to do is we just want to resize this layer. So all you have to do is make sure you have it selected in your layer window, and then we're going to go to edit, transform, or free transform. You can also just hit command T or control T so once you start to transform this, it's really important that you hold in shift, okay? Because holding in shift is gonna maintain that aspect ratio. And if you don't hold in shift, you might squash the picture vertically or horizontally, making it look a little wonky and degrading the pixels. So just hold in shift, drag in from the corners, and we're gonna match that size up just about right. So once you get it, to where you think it's about right, we're gonna go over to our layer window, and at the top of our layer window, we have opacity. So what opacity is, is the transparency of your layer. So we're just gonna turn that down so we can match these facial features up, okay? So it's easiest if you match the eyes up first, and typically you'll find that the nose and the mouth kinda of match up after you match these eyes up. All right, so we can keep resizing that to fit it right. And you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge this layer. Uh, it makes it a lot easier and it allows you to be a lot more precise whenever you're placing layers. Okay, once we have that face lined up with the layer below it, we have to accept our changes. So at the top of your application, you'll see a circle with a cross through it and a check mark. We're just gonna go ahead and commit that transformation and we're gonna turn our opacity all the way back up, okay? So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our layer mask. What a layer mask does is it allows you to hide certain parts of a layer or reveal certain parts of the layer without actually deleting those pixels. So making sure we have our top layer selected, we're gonna to go to the bottom of our layer window and there's a little light gray rectangle with a dark gray circle inside of it. If you hover over top of it, it'll say add layer mask you're just gonna click on that. Now notice there aren't any changes or anything to the document itself. We just have this white thumbnail to the right of our layer thumbnail. Okay, so you can select each of these to work on them individually. So we wanna make sure that we have our layer mask thumbnail selected, otherwise we'll just be working on our original layer. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go over to our toolbox over here on the left side, and we wanna to go to our brush tool. You hit B, that's the keyboard shortcut for it. Um, you can hold that in, make sure you're on the brush tool. And you wanna go to the top left where you find your brush settings and make sure you're on the soft brown brush. All right, this is gonna give us a nice 
even edge, um, it'll be pretty seamless as opposed to having that hard edge. All right, so we have our opacity at 100%. Our flow is set to 70. The flow is basically the opacity of individual brush strokes. Um, I'm turning that down a little bit just to get a little bit smoother edge. So once we check our color palette at the bottom of our toolbox on the left side, we wanna make sure our foreground color is black and our background color is white, okay? So you can always click on that to make sure, or you can click on this small thumbnail icon, which will set the default to black and white, okay? So making sure we have black selected and we have our layer mask selected, we can resize our brush diameter using our brackets, or we can also do that at the top left in our brush settings. Okay, so we're just gonna start painting the parts of our top layer that we do not want to be there. All right, it's essentially erasing the image for now, but the pixels are still there. If you wanna bring these pixels back, if you accidentally make a mistake, all you have to do is switch your foreground color to white and just paint that layer mask white and it'll bring those pixels back. Okay, so it's hiding those pixels. All right, so we're just cleaning that up a little bit at a time. We wanna keep the facial features, more or less just the eyes, nose, mouth, and make sure we just have a clean kind of blend along the jawline and the hairline, okay? So once you check over back with your layer mask, you can tell the part that you painted black is hidden and the part painted white is still there. All right, so that's looking a lot better. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to try to match up the brightness and contrast to these two layers. So once I add our adjustment, our brightness and contrast adjustment layer, you'll notice that we have our settings pop up, okay? So we don't want this adjustment layer to be affecting the entire document. We only want it to be affecting our top layer. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click on this little square icon with the right angle arrow pointing down at the bottom of our properties for our adjustment layer. And that's just gonna lock it down to the layer below it. Okay, so you can kind of tell now that it's only affecting the layer directly beneath the adjustment layer. Okay, so that's gonna kind of match up the light a little bit better. And we can also do our hue and saturation, making sure we lock that layer down. Uh, maybe turn that saturation down a little bit. And you can always try to match up the skin tone a little bit more, okay? There we go. All right, so that's starting to look pretty clean. So essentially what we learned in today's lesson is how to blend several different images together using layer masks in our brush tool. And we also learned about adjustment layers and how we use those for individual layers to match up lightness, uh, contrast, saturation, just to make the image a little more uniform and blend together a little more smoothly. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial on uh, FaceSwap. This is Ethan Dre for Be Creative Studios, and please check back for our newest tutorial.